Uh-oh, it's the snail of death. That's what it looks like to me, a freaking snail. So as you guys have seen this in a couple videos for over a year, and it is about freaking time I talk about it and give the grunt proof verdict. What do you think guys? The Snug Pack Elite Four, is it grunt proof? Is it any good? Is it garbage? Let's check it out. So, if you follow this channel for more than a week, you know how I feel about Snug Pack sleeping bags. A lot of people get pretty upset when I'm discussing Snug Pack products. And I'll tell you guys, I've actually played with their stuff for almost 20 years now, and they do have some really cool products. So, here is a tent that I reviewed last year that performed fine. I still have their version of the Level 7 jacket that I bought probably 13 years ago. It's an awesome jacket. What always bugs the crap out of me about Snug Pack, specifically their freaking sleep systems. The dang old zipper. <laughs> they have the worst zippers in the world. And for being a military surplus item, like yes, militaries actually issue these to their troops. I've worked with the Dutch before, and guess what? The majority of their equipment, especially their sleep systems, were freaking Snug Pack. That's how I found out about Snug Pack working with the Dutch over a decade ago. I don't understand how you can issue a sleeping bag that does not have an emergency zipper. And no, we're not just talking about being able to jump out in a firefight and fight. We're talking about being able to zip that thing up in the middle of the night, pitch black when your hands are frozen and wet and you cannot fumble with the baffle and get the dang zipper closed. You cannot do that with these. If you gotta get out in a hurry, maybe you gotta pee. Maybe you ate a bad MRE or something, you gotta get out quickly. You should be able to just rip the sucker open like the MSS does and many other military surplus bags. You cannot do that with these. Okay, so before I crush this bag, just for the zipper, let's talk about everything else. So overall, I will give this thing a pass for toughness, okay? It is an extremely warm sleeping bag. I would actually say this is just as warm as my Corinthia Defense 4. I would take it a step further and say it is warmer than the first intermediate bag from the Army MSS. So for one sleeping bag, you get a lot more compactability and loft than you do the Army system. It's a lot cheaper too. So they have that going for them. It has a huge baffle, so once you do get the zipper closed, the baffle will keep cold air out. One problem with it, because the crap zipper and the baffle is so huge, you will fight with that freaking thing trying to get it zipped up. So what is the point in a winter sleeping bag that you cannot zip up from the inside? The baffle is in the way and gets stuck, and you have to meticulously close the damn thing it's such a pain i just gave up and i just wrapped the sleeping bag around me so you cannot zip the sleeping bag up from the inside how are you supposed to get it up over your shoulders and get your arms back in there i mean yeah i'm sure you could do it but it's too much of a pain man there's no military field thinking at all put into this zipper system and I don't know about anybody else that has tried this sleeping bag but once I get the zipper up to about chest height I have to reach my arm out to pull it up more. I just cannot fight with the baffle and the zipper and pull it up the rest of the way. That means I gotta get my arm out, I gotta climb out of the bag a little bit, pull it all the way up, cinch it down, and then crawl back down into it. Annoying, guys. Snug pack, and if you care about your customers and especially soldiers in the field at all, make a freaking emergency zipper system with robust teeth so you can just throw that freaking zipper around without worrying about ripping off your baffle or destroying the damn thing it's military surplus guys it's military issue it should be tough and almost unbreakable and it should be dummy proof we're not a bunch of ultralight backpackers that want to be careful with our zipper in the night with a headlamp we want to close the damn thing and go to sleep or we want to rip it open and get out and pee and get back into it really quick without worrying about destroying the damn thing. Make it happen, please. All right, so 
Enough bitching, guys. It is warm. It's very warm. It's very comfortable. I am a cold sleeper, and I will still say that their temperature rating system is pretty damn accurate. So, very warm, very comfortable. For everything you get, it's not too heavy. It is a military surplus type item. So it's gonna be heavy because besides the zipper, it is tough and rugged. So synthetic, you can wash the crap out of it. Don't dry it too heavy and it'll basically last you forever and it's very easy maintenance. With all that being said, I will go ahead and pass it for the most part. It is grunt proof. I will still maintain that the zipper is total ass, like on all their other sleeping bags. That's why I will not be keeping it in my arsenal. As soon as I can find somebody to hand it off to, I will be getting rid of it. Because a sleeping bag with a crap zipper is useless to me. If you guys are cool with the zipper and the price and the weight, then yeah, by all means, go ahead and check it out. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys thought down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and click that bell so you get notified for every new video. And until that next video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Out.